My name is Tim Deagle. I was the DOP, the principal photographer on the Frontier Sumatra film. What seems strange at first is the idea of a pulp and paper company wanting to or being able to protect an area of pristine rainforest. When you see it from the air, it seems to make more sense because it's absolutely surrounded by pulp and paper plantations, which effectively means that the company is able to patrol all the areas surrounding the restoration project and is able, actually able to effectively protect what's on the inside, which is this pristine environment. It really is quite unique, and it is uniquely challenging as well. The ground is soft wherever you go. It's almost like walking on a bouncy castle, but not as much fun. You're carrying a ton of gear. There aren't pavements, there aren't roads, there aren't pathways. The uh, vegetation seems to have razor-sharp edges to everything. There's about somewhere between seven to nine trillion mosquitoes and even more frightening uh, insects. It's exhausting. It is designed very specifically for everything except humans. One of the most challenging or the most uncomfortable was filming the nighttime uh, insect sequences where the scientists go out, they put up a white sheet and put up a, a light on the sheet to attract insects. And then they found this hornet. And then someone mentioned quite how dangerous it was that if it stung you, then it would immediately render you unconscious. It just looked like something out of a horror movie. And there were these um, fire ants, uh, which apparently have the you know, most painful sting of any insect on the planet. And there were hundreds of them. Picture is everything. So you know you're getting bitten at the same time by 12 different species, but you cannot move, you cannot wobble the camera because no one cares. And then you get back to the tents, you know, the camp at the end of the day and you take your shirt off and everyone says, my God, what happened to you? And it's like, I'm the cameraman. Your job is to get the picture. It doesn't matter if you get stuck. The ranges are completely dedicated. You know, these people really do believe in what they're doing and they do believe that it is worth protecting and they're dedicating their lives to it. I mean, that came across to me certainly very clearly and I hope it comes across in the film. You do find yourself on these projects that you're actually, it's a bit of a privilege that you're in areas, in places that are largely completely untouched by man and that you are in a pristine environment and an environment that is fast disappearing globally. It's actually quite a privilege to just sit there once in a while and the camera's off and you just look around and you realize that, you know, this is a very, very special place. We work very hard to be able to capture it and I do hope that we've done it justice.